Hi, so for today, we are going to continue our discussion all about the 1001 solve integrals involving trigonometric transformation. So this will be part 14. And we're going to solve 90 problems 91 to 95. So let's get started. So yeah, if we have this type of integral, we have the integral of sine cube of x. Usually what we do here is we split off Okay, one uh, value of sine here. So we have sine squared of x multiplied by sine of x dx. That is still equal to sine cube of x. What are we going to do here is we are going to use a Pythagorean identity to uh, actually transform this sine squared of x. So we have sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals 1. That is a Pythagorean identity. So if I'm going to solve sine squared of x, that would be 1 minus cosine squared of x. Because there's no other way we can integrate this. We cannot uh, simply use u substitution. Okay? So we have sine squared of x, that's 1 minus cosine squared of x. And then we have sine of x dx. So we can distribute the value of sine x to the two terms of this identity. So we have sine of x dx, this is readily integrable, minus we have sine of x cosine squared of x dx. So let me just rewrite. We have the integral of sine of x dx. Then we have minus uh, cosine squared of x sine of x dx. So this is readily integrable, this one. The integral of sine is cosine, negative cosine of x. So in this problem, in this second term, we can let u as cosine of x, then the du would be negative sine of x dx. But I only have sine of x dx here, so multiplying this both sides by negative 1 will be having negative du equals sine of x dx. And now we can use the u substitution. So we have u a minus integral of u squared multiplied by negative du. And I can factor out negative 1 outside of the integral. So this is negative 1. I can factor it out here. So negative 1 times negative 1 would become positive. So this would be positive integral of u squared. And then we have the integrate this using power formula. So we have u cubed all over 3 plus c. But take note that r u equals cosine of x. So we must... Uh, let it back to the original variable because that is not the original variable. So we have negative cosine of x plus we have cosine of cube of x all over 3 plus C. And this will be our final answer for number 91. How about for number 92? For number 92, we have integral of cosine cube of y. Then we have sine cube of y dy. Usually, uh, we have to strip off uh, the odd number. How about this? This is two odd number. This is raised to an odd number. So you can choose to either uh, split off one and leave the other as it is. So I can I can split off cosine. Okay. So because I'm I'm targeting that the cosine will be become my du. You will see it later. So we have cosine squared y multiplied by cosine of y dy. So I'm targeting this to be my du. So I I should have a u equals sine. So I'll have to find a way that this one to become sine. Because if I let sine, if I let u equals sine y, so the du is cosine y dy. So we have sine cube of y. You know that the based from our Pythagorean identity that this uh, cosine squared y, sine squared y plus cosine squared y equals 1. So we have cosine squared y equals 1 minus sine squared of y. By Pythagorean identities. This becomes 1 minus sine squared of y. Then we have cosine of y dy. So I have no other choice but to distribute this. So we have sine cube of y minus sine cube of y multiplied by sine squared of y, that's sine raised to 5 of y. Then we have cosine of y dy. So, and from here, we can have the u substitution. 
Okay? So we can now perform the U substitution. As you can see, we are now purely in terms of sine. So we can let U equals sine of Y, then DU equals cosine of Y, DY, which is available here. So if I'm going to rewrite this, this would be U cube minus U raised to 5 because I let U equals to sine. And it is raised to a certain uh, exponent because this is cubed and this is raised to 5. So we have du, cosine y dy is du. So perform using the power rule. So we have u raised to 4 all over 4 minus u raised to 6 all over 6. Okay, so this would be raised to 6. u raised to 6 all over 6 plus c. Okay, and take note that our u, okay, our u will be uh, we, we, we let u as equal to sine y. So we have to substitute it back. So we have sine raised to 4 y all over 4 minus sine raised to 6 of y all over 6 plus c. So this will be our answer for number 92. Okay, how about for number 93? We can solve number 93. So for number 93, we have the integral of cosine squared 2 theta, then we have sine cube 2 theta d theta. So as I've said a while ago, the ones that has odd, that is the high probability that you can split it off. So we have cosine squared 2 theta, then we have sine squared 2 theta, and then we have sine 2 theta. And the ones that has uh, uh, one exponent, which is sine 2 theta, that can be your targeted du. Okay, that can be your target. So you should have a u that is cosine. So this is already in terms of cosine, so nothing to do about it. But this one, we're going to make this as cosine. Okay, and again, by properties of identity, identity, uh, trigonometric identities, we can we can rewrite the sine squared two theta as one minus cosine squared two theta. Okay. Then we have sine to theta t theta. So we have no other choice but to distribute. So we have cosine squared 2 theta minus cosine squared or cosine raised to 4. Because cosine squared 2 theta times negative cosine squared 2 theta would be cosine raised to 4 2 theta. We have sine to theta t theta. Okay. So what are we going to do? We can let u. Let u equals cosine 2 theta. And then get the derivative of that. The derivative of cosine 2 theta is negative sine 2 theta. But we can differentiate the inside function, which is 2 theta with respect to theta is 2. That's chain rule. Okay? So remember, if you're solving uh, the derivative of a certain function, sine, with a uh, variable inside or a constant coefficient other than 1. We use chain rule. So we have negative 2 sine 2 theta t theta. The problem is we have only so sine 2 theta d theta here. So I'm going to eliminate negative 2 here by dividing both sides by negative 2. So we have what? We have negative du all over 2. Then we have sine 2 theta d theta. Now, we can now solve. We can have a u substitution. So, this cosine squared 2 theta would be u squared minus cosine raised to 4 2 theta would be u raised to 4. Okay? And then sine 2 theta d theta is equal to negative d all over 2. So, I can factor out negative 1 half and then we have u squared minus u raised to 4 and then we have du. So, it's very easy. So, integrate, that would be u raised to 3 all over 3 minus u raised to 5 all over 5 plus c. So, distribute negative 1 half. So, that becomes negative u cube all over 6 minus or plus. Because negative times negative here would become plus. Okay, so that would be plus u raised to 5 all over 10 plus c. But take note that our u... Our u equals cosine 2 theta. 
So we have negative cosine cube 2 theta all over 6. Plus we have cosine raised to 5 2 theta all over 10 plus C. So this will be your final answer for this problem. Okay? So for number 93. For number 94, let's get started no? to the last two problems that we have for today. So we have 94, we have the integral of sine squared x, and then we have cosine raised to 5x dx. The very first thing that you're going to do here is to split this. So because that's an odd number, okay? So add exponents. So we have cosine raised to 4x. And then we have cosine of x dx. Now, our target is this cosine x dx to be our du. Okay? So, if we let that, we must have a u that is sine. So, we must replace also this. No problem with this because this is already in terms of sine. So, if we may wish to rewrite, cosine raised to 4 of x would be cosine squared of x squared. Why did we do that? It's because so that we can apply the formula for Pythagorean identity that has cosine squared x. That cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. So again, we have integral of sine squared x. So we have 1 minus sine squared x squared because of this. So we have cosine of x dx. Now, we have no choice but to expand this. Okay, And if we expand that, First is square the first term. 1 squared, that is 1. The middle term is get is gotten or calculated by multiplying all of this. 1 times negative sine squared of x is negative sine squared of x multiplied by 2, that is negative 2 sine squared of x. And the last term, you're going to square negative sine squared of x, including the sine. So that is plus sine raised to 4 of x. Then we have cosine of x dx. Okay, so now we can distribute sine squared of x. All of it are in terms of sine. Okay, so we'll, it will not be a problem if you use u substitution. So we have integral of sine squared of x minus 2 sine raised to 4 of x. Because sine squared of x times sine squared of x sine raised to 4 of x. Then sine squared of x times sine raised to 4 of x sine raised to 6 of x. Then we have cosine of x dx. So if we are going to let u equal sine of x, then the du would be cosine of x, of which obviously it's available. So now we have u squared minus 2u raised to 4 plus we have u raised to 6 and then we have du. So get it by power rule, u cube all over 3 minus 2u raised to 5 all over 5 plus u raised to 7 all over 7 plus c. Okay? But substituting back the value of sine of x. So we have sine cube of x all over 3 minus 2 sine raised to 5 of x all over 5 plus we have sine raised to 7 of x all over 7 plus c. So this can be your final answer. Or you can rewrite it as one third sine cube of x minus 2 fifth sine raised to 5 of x plus 1 all over 7 sine raised to 7 of x plus c. So you can rewrite it. Either of the two. Down to our last number. Okay. Down to our last number, 95. So we have the integral of sine cube of x dx all over cosine raised to 6 of x. So this is very unique from the problems that we have because as you can see, from our previous problem, it's all product. And now we have division. So the very first thing that we're going to do here, we cannot simply use what we are doing a while ago. So we must be able to transform this into another trigonometric uh, functions in order for us to solve this. Now, if I'm going to rewrite first sine cube of x and then we have dx, I split the cosine raised to 6 of x into 2. 
Okay? And if I'm going to furthermore rewrite it, sine cube of x all over cosine cube of x multiplied by 1 all over cosine cube of x dx. Remember that sine cube of x all over cosine cube of x or sine of x all over tan, uh, cosine of x is tangent. So we have tangent cube of x. 1 all over cosine cube of x would be equal to secant cube of x. And tangent and secant are related to each other by its uh, by its derivatives. So we have sine cube all over cosine cube, that's tangent of cube of x. And then we have 1 all over cosine cube, that's secant cube of x. So you see, we have now transformed this given quotient into somewhat product. Okay? And using the rules that we have used a while ago, this two has a exponent of an odd number so we can split it up we can split it up both so we have tangent squared of x then tangent of x then we have secant squared of x then we have secant of x we have dx so if we're going to use this so this would be uh, i'm just going to rewrite it so we have secant squared of x tangent squared of x and then we have secant of x tangent of x dx so why did I use this? This our target is to make a du this one, secant x tangent of x. And what trigonometric function would make a derivative that is secant of x tangent of x? That's right, u equals what secant. So we don't have any problems here, but we have problems here. We should transpose this or transform this into secant. And take note. By Pythagorean identity, we have this one. 1 plus tangent squared x equals secant squared x. So I can substitute tans tangent squared x. We have secant squared x minus 1. So if I do that, we have secant squared x. Tangent squared is secant squared x minus 1. Then we have secant x tangent of x. We have dx. Okay, distribute. Secant squared and then this one. So this will be secant raised to 4 of x minus secant squared x. Then we have secant of x tangent of x. So we can now use the u substitution. Let u equals secant of x. du would be secant of x tangent of x dx. So it's very simple. We have now integral of u raised to 4 minus u squared. Then we have du. So overall, this would be u raised to, negative, uh, u raised to 5 all over 5 by power rule, minus u cube all over 3 by power rule, plus c. But take note, we have to go back to the original variable, which is secant of x. So this would be secant of raised to 5 of x all over 5, minus secant cube of x all over 3, plus c. And this will be our final answer for our last problem, 95. So, thank you so much for listening. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and subscribe. So, if you want more videos uh, uh, for tutorial videos in engineering and mathematics subjects, please hit the notification bell so, you that, so that you will be updated every time I upload videos. Okay? So, thank you so much, guys, for listening. Again, this is Engineer Abbott. See you on the next, on, on the next video.